Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam. We hope you're preparing well for your akhirah. In 2006, a famous Jordanian archaeologist, Ahmad Abdul Karim, presented a tablet. Carbon dating estimated that it had to be roughly 3,000 years old, which means it definitely goes back to the times of Hazrat Suleiman. This is absolutely unbelievable, but the details and explanations will amaze you even more. Let me first share with you a few interesting details before you decide whether the claim is true. This tablet was discovered in Saudi Arabia's ruins, where Jews used to live once. This tablet stands out because it can be viewed from all four directions and displays meaningful images from each one. The fact that these photos are unrelated to one another and each tells a separate tale is even more unbelievable. Look at this tablet from this first direction. You will see an old man. According to Abdul Karim, this old man is Prophet Musa. He believes that this image was carved onto the stone by jinns during the reign of the Prophet Suleiman, since there was no technology available at that time to do this. This elderly man resembles the Prophet Musa exactly as our Holy Prophet peace be upon him described him. Additionally, the face has something written on it as well in some ancient language which means a scholar who stammers. Now we know from Surah Taha that the Prophet Musa said, O oh Allah, open my chest for me and ease the task for me and loosen the knot from my tongue so that they can understand my speech. At the bottom, there is a calf's head as well. Remember the story of this calf that Hazrat Musa's nation had started worshipping in his absence? All these signs confirm that this side of the tablet refers to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. Now let's rotate this tablet at 180 degrees. This new direction displays four images. Can you spot this half head of a person? This is the right half with one eye, nose, mouth and beard. Abdul Karim claims it to be the image of Dajjal. According to our Islamic knowledge, Dajjal is supposed to arrive before the end of the world. Our Holy Prophet peace be upon him has made clear the physical attributes that he will have one eye, bush-like hair and thick neck. Similar characteristics are shown in this image. A monkey and a pig at the left point to the 70,000 Jews of Bani Israel who disobeyed Almighty Allah and were punished by turning them into pigs and monkeys. You will also see a scorpion at the top. We know that when someone sees a scorpion in his dream, it means enemy. This implies that Dajjal is the biggest enemy of mankind. Here is the royal cap that resembles the Egyptian kings used to wear. These writings on the top of this head depict the evil and unpredictable nature of Dajjal. We know that the true believers would be able to see the Arabic alphabet Kaf, Fa, Ra on the forehead of Dajjal and they would be aware that Dajjal is the devil. These writings most probably refer to the word Kafir. Now have a look at this tablet from the third angle. It shows the head of the shaitan resting on a chair. If you look at it a bit carefully, the face is also quite clear and visible. Our holy prophet peace be upon him forbade us from praying when the sun is rising because according to him, the sun rises from between the two horns of the shaitan and praying at this time is equivalent to worshipping him. It implies that the devil has horns. The fact that the head on the chair has horns and is lying there indicates that the demonic Dajjal will be in charge. This fourth direction shows a man that is naked in front of a few women. It once again points to the Prophet Musa according to Abdul Karim. There was a time when men used to bathe together but Musa was modest enough not to do this. So here is another reference to Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. According to Abdul Karim, the presence of the images of both Prophet Musa and Dajjal is not coincidental. Before Prophet Suleiman, Prophet Musa alayhi salam was the most recent prophet. He told his nation about a true messiah who was Prophet Isa and a false messiah who was Dajjal. But Allah brought Hazrat Isa up in the heavens and the misguided are still waiting for Dajjal as their true savior. Brothers and sisters, although 
Abdul Karim's assertions could have some doubts. They support what our beloved Prophet told us about the fitna of Dajjal. Each and every Prophet has warned their people to be aware of him because he will be the deadliest fitna to have ever existed on earth. We ask Allah to keep us all safe from this fitna. Ameen. Brothers and sisters, isn't this mind-blowing? How Allah is still giving us signs and signals in the form of such discoveries and explanations. This ancient tablet that science has proved to be 3000 years old is absolutely amazing. Share with us your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.